Hello everyone, I'm Yun, a novice tour guide in Seoul. Today, I'd like to introduce Toksugung Palace, one of the five palaces and the temporary palace of Joseon Dynasty. In fact, it was not built for any of the kings. It was built as the private residence for Crown Princess Han in early Joseon Dynasty. It also was used as a temporary palace during Japanese invasion in the middle of Joseon. And then in the late Joseon Dynasty, it was elevated to the rank of main palace when King Gojong was promoted to the Emperor of Dian Empire. Currently, the size of this palace is much smaller than that of the palace first built in 15th century, experiencing Japanese colonial period. Daksugun Palace remembers Emperor Gojong's anguish as a human being and his struggling history too. Now let's take a look at the buildings of Daksugun Palace and it's an interesting history. Tianmun Gate is the main gate of Doksugung Palace, and it is located on the southern east side of the palace. Unlike the other main gates of the other palaces, Tianmun Gate is only one story building. Tianmun Gate was not the main gate from the beginning. The original main gate of Doksugung was Inamun Gate, but it was demolished in 1906, and the Daemun was promoted to the main gate. Now the place where Inamun Gate was located is occupied by a city, and traces of the gate exist only in records. Chunghwajeon Hall is the main hall of Daksugun Palace. It was built after the Dian Empire was founded in 1897. There are two dabdos at the center of the stairs. The dabdos are characterized by the dragons on the surfaces of them, unlike phoenixes on the other dabdos of the other palaces. Indeed, phoenix symbolize king, while dragon symbolize emperor. This indicates Korea became an empire in 1897. There is another symbol to declare that Korea was an emperor's country. It is the color of the gates and the windows. In the East countries, including Korea, there are sacred five colors that are called Obangsek in Korea. The five colors symbolize five sacred things. They are black, white, blue, red, and yellow. Black for turtle, white for tiger, blue for dragon red for phoenix, and yellow for emperor. Therefore, the yellow color of the doors and windows symbolizes the emperor and the fact that Korea was an empire. Chunghwajeon Hall was built after the Dian Empire was founded. During that period, Chunghwajeon could not function as a main hall for national events. Because the empire was under the colonial rule of Japan, the final roles of the building war for the dethronement of Emperor Gojong and the coronation of King Sunjong, the son of Gojong. In 1905, as the first step toward colonizing Korea, 
Japan forcibly concluded the treaty and deprived Korea of its diplomatic rights. Koreans call this unfair treaty USA Treaty. However, Emperor Gojong never surrendered to this Japanese ambition. In 1907, Gojong sent three secret envoys to Hague Peace Conference held in Netherlands and tried to let the world know about the injustice of Ulsa Treaty. But his attempt ended in failure due to Japanese interference. After that, Japan forcibly deposed Gojong for trying to exercise his diplomatic rights, despite his lack of diplomatic rights, and took his son Sun Jong to the throne at this Jungajan Hall. But the two main characters did not participate in the ceremony because they disagreed. Hanyangjeon Hall is the last bedchamber of the Joseon King after Emperor Gojong was deposed. He lived lonesomely for the rest of his life. And the Hamnyangjeon Hall here watched the moment he closed his eyes in 1919. Dokongjeon Hall is located on the left side of Hamnyangjeon Hall. It was built to enshrine the body of Queen Myeongsong and a spirit tablet in 1896. Later, her body and the spirit tablet was moved to another building, and Gojong used this hall as his private quarter. And he used to meet foreign envoys here. Cheongwanhan Hall is a Western style architecture designed by Sabatin, a Russian architect. Emperor Gojong used to enjoy drinking coffee here, listening to classical music and enjoy the garden in front of the hall. After Korea's liberation from Japanese colonial rule, this place was opened to citizens and operated as a cafe where tea and beverages were sold. Junmyeongdang Hall was built to serve as Dukhae's kindergarten, who is known as the last princess of Korea. Gojong loved Dukhae so much, who was born at his age of 60 and built this hall to use it as a kindergarten. Dukhae played with children of her age and studied together here. The dent marks shown here indicate that there was a railing here. It is said that Gojong installed the railing in fear that his daughter Dukhae whom he loved so much, would fall from the stone terrace and get hurt. In Korea, a father who loves his daughter that much is called a daughter fool, which may be referring to Emperor Gojong. Jukjodang Hall is a twin building with Junmyeongdang Hall. The two buildings are connected by a corridor in the middle. This Jukjodang Hall served as a temporary main hall until the construction of Jungajan Hall, the main hall of Doksugung Palace. 
Chukjo Dang Hall is the very place where King Gojong ascended to the throne of the emperor and declared that Korea became an empire in 1896. In fact, it was not the first bad relationship between Deuk-sukung and Japan. Japan demanded that Korea move out of the way in the name of Japanese conquest of China. Korea rejected the demand and Japan invaded Korea in 1592. The war is called the Imjin War. In the early days of the war, Japan advanced from Busan to Seoul with rapid momentum. King Sonjo and the government, who had neglected to prepare for the war, fled to Uiju, the border between Korea and China. The Korean people were furious with the king and the government and burned all the palaces in Seoul except Doksugung Palace. Later, when the allied forces of Korea and China took back Seoul, King Sonjo and the government used this Doksugung as a temporary palace. King Sonjo, who was highly responsible for the war, died lonely some here at this Sogodang Ho. And its name Sogodang stands for the hall where a king lived once upon a time. It is located at the center of the palace. This building is uniquely a two-story building, and it is the only building without Dancheng. For your information, Dancheng is an ornament applied on wooden material of architect to protect the wood and add beauty with the five sacred colors and their mixed colors described before, such as black, white, blue, red, yellow, and their mixtures. The site of Jungmyeongjeon Hall did not belong to Doksugung Palace at first, this was the area where Western missionaries lived. Doksugung Palace was expanded and this site was incorporated into the palace in 1897. This Jungmyeongjeon Hall was built as the Royal Library. This building is the very place where the five traitors concluded the Ulsa Treaty that deprived Korea of its diplomatic rights. In 1896, King Gojong himself was promoted from king to emperor by building large western neoclassical style building such as this Sokjojeon Hall, he tried to declare that the Dan Empire was a self-reliant and modernized country to the world. This emblem is the flower of a plum tree, and it symbolizes the Joseon royal family. From 1946 to 1947, Sokjojeon Hall was used as the venue for U.S.-Soviet Joint Commission to discuss the governance of Korea after the liberation of Korea. So far, we have looked at Doksugung Palace and its history. Under the Japanese colonial rule, Japan constantly damaged the Doksugung Palace and the size of the palace has been actually greatly reduced. It was to undermine the dignity of Emperor Gojong and Korea. In fact, the former name of Doksugung was Gyeongungung. 
Emperor Gojongju's son, Sunjong, ascended the throne, and he moved to Changdeokgung Palace, and he changed the name of the palace to Deoksugung Palace in the hope of his father's longevity, who would remain alone. After that, Gojong spent the rest of his life there, and was poisoned to death by someone in 1919. The incident led to non-violent resistance to Japan throughout Korea started on March 1, 1919. During the movement, many Koreans were killed or imprisoned. However, the Korean people did not give in Japan until the moment of liberation from Japan in 1945. And Deoksugung Palace here cherishes the history of Emperor Gojong and his people's struggle. Thank you for watching the video. I will come to you with a more interesting story. Don't forget subscribe and like. See you next time.